Welcome to episode seven forty-eight, Larry Chen Xiangdong, Ten Lessons. This is an outline of episode seven forty-eight, lesson one to lesson five. This is lesson six to lesson ten. Lesson one: He's a mediocre student from a poor area. He was born in Henan Province, one of the poorest landlocked provinces in China. In nineteen seventy-one, he was a mediocre student. Lesson two: Never stop learning. Earned bachelor's degree from Henan Jiaoyu Xueyuan and Zhengzhou University. He holds a PhD in economics from Renmin University of China. He also studied at Harvard Business School in two thousand and five. Lesson three: His mentor is Michael Yu, CEO of New Oriental Education and Technology, where he worked fifteen years. Lesson four: What he learned from his boss, Michael Yu, self belief. I was a terrible singer in high school. I often feel ashamed, and I decided not to sing in public. One day, my boss Michael Yu sang in a party. His singing was terrible. I asked him if he was aware his singing was really bad. He said, "Of course, but the people who suffered are the listener, not me." So, from Michael Yu, I learned self-belief. Lesson five: Excellence in raising capital. In his first year, he raised fifty million U.S. dollars, then a Chinese record. Lesson six: There are three kinds of stakeholders. You should please the students and parents first. Oh, 获益。那您其实永恒永远永远的去把你的注意力的焦点放在你的学生和家长身上。永远把这焦点放在你的员工的学习和成长上。我将相信，如果你把学生服务好了，如果把你的员工让他成长了，你其实那公司业绩好了，公司价值提升了，投资人的利益就保证了。所以我觉得投资人的利益是外在的。Lesson seven: Large number of teachers. That is two hundred and fifty thousand registered teachers. 截至二零一五年八月三十一日，全球入驻老师二十五万。入驻机构三万家，全国五十二家运营中心覆盖。Lesson A challenge increases courage and energy. 都需要面对不确定性。我们每个人都想去挑战自我，而一次又一次的挑战会给我们真正的勇气的激发。而当我们有勇气的时候，我们就会有更多的历练，我们就会有力量。而当我们有更多的力量的时候，我们就会去想给这个世界更多的美好，而给这个世界更多的美好的过程。Lesson nine, you must win. Losing will bring shame. 比如说，陈总看了这本书，赢，要强调自己赢或者好斗那一面，会不会觉得特别没有格局啊？呃，作为一个企业，如果你不能够赢。不能够去有利润，我觉得那是一种耻辱。如果一个企业你把它做垮了，这个员工会非常受挫，影响了他的一生啊，影响了很多的家庭。而当一个企业真正做得越发成功的时候，这家企业的人才他就会有更多的骄傲感，就有更多的职场的发展通道。他们输是耻辱的。Lesson ten: Make quick decisions every day. 团队的构建当中，我发现一个最大的秘诀就是。你要使你的决策更快一点。为什么创业公司会更快呢？因为大公司要开不同的会议，要有不同的委员会，而创业公司拍个肩膀，遛个弯儿，晚上吃个烧烤，撸个串儿，所有的决策协议就达成了。所以，如果你想真正的梦想说要做份大的事情。不妨先想想，说我要立足于当下，做件小事情，而这件小事情就是你每天的决策能不能再快一点 ？Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone wealthy and wise.